A lot of companies claim to have an amazing company culture, but how do you know? As a candidate, are you just supposed to take their word for it? Or is there another way to go about verifying is this actually true? Or are they just telling me what I wanna hear? In today's video, I'm going to give you five different ways you can verify company culture. That way you know if you start with them, you're going to be walking into a culture that meets your expectations. Let's go. Now the first thing I want you to do is check the company's website, go to their About Us section or their culture section and actually read through exactly what they say about their company culture. Is it bare bones or do they give examples of what they're doing to actually create the environment they say exists in their organization? Right here, for example, is Apple. If you look here, I'm gonna run a few different images, but you see they actually talk about their values. They give you examples of people who work for their company. That is an example of a company who's actually standing behind the values they are trying to broadcast out to the greater public. Does this company do what that you're interviewing with? Step one is actually taking a look and reading through what they're putting out there. Now, the second thing I want you to do is check sites like Glassdoor, LinkedIn, Indeed. They're all going to be ratings by people who actually work there. For example, this here is Apple again, and this is Glassdoor. And you can actually read through a bunch of different reviews. You get the star rating, and you can actually understand what are employees who used to work for the organization saying about it now. Now, one bad review, that's not something that should be a massive deal. But what you do want to look for is trends. You want to look for the overall data. If a company has a low star rating, that's problematic. If they've got a high star rating and they've got a bad review here or there, that's probably not the end of the world. But read through it, look for examples of that company culture um, manifesting in the actual review, and don't just look on one. You know, go to Indeed, go to Glassdoor, look at multiple sites. Reading through and doing your due diligence can save you a lot of trouble on the back end. Now the next thing you wanna do is actually ask about their culture when you're in the interview process. When you're interviewing, at the end of every interview, they should give you an opportunity to ask questions. And you're gonna to wanna to ask questions about the role, about their leadership style, you know, a ton of different questions, right? You should go to every interview with about 10 questions, but you should also use it as an opportunity to ask questions about company culture. Questions like, what is your favorite company value? Or how do your values manifest themselves in day-to-day -day operations? Questions like this and how they respond, if they respond easily, if it's comfortable, or if they look like they're searching for an answer that doesn't exist, just the way they respond is going to tell you a lot about the company culture, their values, and if they're actually real. Now the next thing I'd recommend you doing is doing a company background check. So what is that? So that's finding um, people who used to work for this company on LinkedIn. So you can go there and kind of search the company, um, you know, search on LinkedIn, find people who used to work for the organization and then send them a connection request with a note. Hi, you know, I, I, you know you, if you're comfortable saying I'm interviewing with a company you used to work for, I'd love to get your, your thoughts or your perspective on them. You can do that. Or you could say, you know, I have a, you know, a friend who is going to be interviewing with ABC company. I see you used to work there. Would you mind sharing a bit about your experience? You could probably go back and forth via um, a quick uh, you know, LinkedIn message exchange. Or if they're open to it and you're open to it, ask if they'd be willing to jump on a quick phone call and talk through and then you can actually ask them questions. You know, how did you feel about the company culture? Did you feel supported? You know, the stuff they have on their website, would you say that is accurate about the company culture? By reaching out and doing a company reference check, you can find out so much about a company. Now, that person, if they had a truly negative experience, that could be an outlier. So if you're gonna do this, I recommend at least trying to do this with a handful of people, maybe two or three, to get varied perspectives. Um, because one person's opinion, good or bad, it doesn't necessarily you know, speak to the entirety of the organization. It could just be their experience, but I always think more data is good. So it's good to reach out and try to get their perspective and do a company background check. Now the last thing you can do is similar to the prior suggestion, but a bit easier. I know that last suggestion might be intimidating for some people, but the thing you can do is look for boomerang employees. So what are those? Those are people who have left the organization and have come back. Typically that does not happen unless it is a good place to work. Um, I know, for example, my company, we have a handful of boomerang employees, employees who have left, saw the grass wasn't greener or came back, or they left because, you know, in their career, they wanted a bit of, um, you know, something different. And then they've come back now with more experience to rejoin the organization. That is typically a sign of a good place to work. So if you go through and you go to the company page on LinkedIn, um, click on their employees, look at some of their profiles. And if you see people who have been there for a while or they've been there for a while and left and came back, that's probably a good thing. While you're there, one of the things I'd also recommend doing is 
look at the duration of people, like the duration of time they've spent at the, at the employer. So if you're going through and you're clicking on multiple people's sites, let's say you're clicking on six, seven, eight people's uh, different LinkedIn profiles who are currently working for the company, how long have they been there? And have they been promoted since they've been there? Do you see growth and advancement? These are all really important things to look for when you're looking um, at people's pages. But again, looking for people who are you know, retained, staying for a long time and growing with the organization and looking for boomerang employees is another great way you can kind of dig in and feel like, okay, this must be a good place to work because of the information in front of me here. Now, if you do all this and everything looks good and you're like, yeah, this is going to be a good company to work for, I want you to watch this video because after your interview, you're gonna to wanna to stand out. And one of the best ways to stand out is sending a great thank you email. Doing this can be the difference between getting the job and not getting the job, and I would much rather you get the job. So watch this next.